Hello and welcome to another video by your favorite family member Michael. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to send emails through React through a form to yourself. So we're going to be using a service called EmailJS. And if you want to just head over to EmailJS.com, you can go ahead and sign up and create a free a creative account. I already have an account, so I'm already signed in. But once you create your account, go back to this URL and I want you to click on Docs. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down here to where it says examples and click react. We're going to end up coming back to this function here later on. And then we're going to be also needing to use this line of code here to import email GS as well. So once you've created your account, you're going to see something like this. And we have multiple different email services that we can send emails to. I'm only going to be showing you how to do Gmail and I've only tested Gmail. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on Gmail. Obviously, you, this will be pre-populated for you. You want to connect to your account. So I'm going to connect to the account I'm using. You want to hit allow and then add service. And then it's going to send you a little test email as well. If you want, you can go ahead and check it. There you go. There's my test email. So know that we are connected. So now what we want to do is we want to go to email templates, click create new template. I've already created one. So this is what mine looks like. When you create it, it's going to just be empty with nothing here. Now, the importance here is you want to use three uh, curly braces on each side and then you, whatever you're going to be having for your form information. So for me, um, when someone sends me an email, they're going to have a subject. They'll have their name, email and message. Um, and I'll also show you in the code how this is super important. So once you figure out how you want to template your email, um, they have some fonts here and different things you can do, which is nice. On the right hand side here where it says to email, you want to go ahead and enter the email you want to send it to, which I would hope would be yours. You can also send a test email up here if you want. So just test email. It'll let you know if it works. And then you can go again back to your email and see if it's working, which it is. So great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into the code and we're going to get this set up. So first thing you want to do when you have your React project and you're ready to go is you want to install the email JS. So just type npm install email js dash com dash dash save and that will install that dependency for you. And then once that's done, you want to go ahead and import email JS here. So you just type that in. And then once you're done, you want to create that function. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it send email. And then of course, make sure on your form that you made, you have you're calling the function. And so we're going to go back to the website we're going to go to the docs and we're just going to grab, I'm going to grab the contents of the function, not the actual function. So I've already made it and I'm going to go ahead and bring this in. Okay. And so once you've brought the contents of that function in, there's four different parameters here that we need to address. So if you hover over send form, you're going to see the different parameters. So we have service ID, which is the email service we're using, which is Gmail. We have the template ID, which is our template. We have the form. We're going to leave. Um, I'll go about that in a little bit. And then our user ID, which I'll show you how to find as well. So first, let's go ahead and change this to Gmail. And then for our template ID, let's go back to the website. And it's not going to be the, this name here, but it's going to be this name. All right. So we'll just copy that and then we'll paste it here. And then for E dash target, this is going to be whatever the user is submitting through your form. So we're going to leave that alone. And then the last bit is going to be your user ID. So to find that, you're going to go back to the website. You're going to click up here under your name. And then you're going to see over here, it says API keys. You're going to copy this user ID. And then that's going to be your user ID. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Honestly, make sure you're calling the function and then you have your form set up. Now, um, what we'll end up doing too, is I'm gonna add this etarget.reset. And the nice thing about this is when your form gets submitted, it will end up just re resetting the fields of your form. Now, one quick thing before we test this, when I was talking about the template, if we go back to it, and we have these squiggly brackets, right? We have subject, name, email, message. You want to go off of right here, whatever you call this particular input field. Um, just make sure it's case sensitive as well. And then you're all squared away. So let's go ahead and test this. So if we come to my React project, 
have this form here. Go ahead and do test. Go ahead and send it. And then as you see, it resets here. And then if we go to our email, you can see that we received our test email. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a very, very simple tool, an awesome website to help send emails to yourself or you know, to your company or anything like that. They also have pricing here. So you get 200 monthly requests. This is awesome if you're just you know doing some stuff on your own. And then they have different plans you can use as well um, if, if you wanna do that. So th thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this is very helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.